welcome back to Biolotti. So today's video is the August Bella box. So I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and change notifications to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's jump in. So this month's Bella box has come in this baby pink box. So as usual, when you open it up, it has the black tissue paper in there with just a little sticker keeping it closed. And then your little sheet of what you got in your monthly box. So this is the August box. So on the back of the piece of paper, it gives you a little bit of details of what each product is and an estimation on like how much it retails for, for like the full size packets. So let's jump straight in. First product I've got in here is a Go Blonder Lemon Miracle Mask by John Frieda. And it is massive. This is not a sample, I don't think. I think this is probably their full size one. So it's with lemon oil and it's meant to strengthen fragile hair fibers before and after lightening. As per usual, anything that I try out prior to posting this video, I will add clips in. If there's anything that I don't put a clip in and I haven't used prior to uploading and you want to see me use them, just let me know down in the comments and I will make sure I do them in a future video. So I'm very excited to try this one because I am blonde um, and I do like some masks. So I'm excited to play with this one here. Okay, next product is from Alpha H. It's a micro cleanse super scrub with glycolic acid. So it's a granulated glycolic exfoliant formulated with jojoba microbeads to refine and reveal a new freshness to the complexion. Now I did try one of their products uh, last box and I didn't like it unfortunately. Um, and this one does have glycolic acid in it. So I will re-give this one on to a friend or family member just because I have really sensitive skin and I do know that this brand is a bit iffy on my skin. So I don't want to trial it out and then break out in like a rash or my face peel because I'm having an allergic reaction to it. So I won't try this one on camera, but I will re-gift it. And when I re-gift it, if they do use it prior to me posting the box, I will add a little comment in of what they thought of it. Okay, so third product is a perfume. It's Guess Seductive Noi. No, no, never know how to pronounce that. So it's a little sample here. So it's meant to be sexy, mysterious and intoxicating. So let's give it a smell. I'm just going to pop it on my inner arm, inner wrist. Woo! It's very strong. It almost has like a licorice uh, scent to it as well. It's um, very, very strong for my liking. Um, I do prefer like lighter scents, but it is very nice. I could probably just get away with just using like one spray of this um, on my whole body and then that would that would be enough for me. But if I use like multiple sprays, it could probably be overpowering for me. So number four is some water wipes. So it's the world's purest facial wipes and it's for sensitive skin. So it's water enriched with fruit extract and dead sea minerals to deeply cleanse and remove makeup, mascara and impurities. So it looks like this and it does say, yeah, it's kind of non-sensitive skin, dermatologically tested, vegan. So it's got aqua citrus and marasal in it. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I might use this tonight when I take my makeup off because I've got full face of makeup on. So that would be good to put it to test. But it does say that it's 99.9% .9 water, fruit extract and dead sea minerals. So that's very exciting.
So I've just used these wipes and unfortunately I'm not a fan of them. I have finished using both wipes already um, and I still have makeup on my face. Um, so not a fan of that. I will make a note that they're extremely watery. <laughs> so they were dripping on me as I was wiping my face. Uh, they don't smell very strong or anything like that. They really don't smell like anything at all, if I'm honest. Um, but I do still have makeup left on my face. I did put them to the test. I had full glam on today and I had waterproof mascara on. Um, and I do still have quite big chunks of mascara on the ends now from it wiping it down um so not one that i would like to use if i'm going to use a wipe i need it to get most of my makeup off however even when i do use a wipe i will still go in with my face halo and use some warm water and wipe it all off as well um and then i will always make sure to put some moisturizer on just because the wipes normally leave like a film over your face uh which does cause me to break out so yeah, not a fan of this one. It has left it nice and soft and it is meant for sensitive skin, but I don't like that it has left tons of makeup behind. I, If I take out another wipe, I can get heaps more off. You can see like I've got makeup still everywhere. And I've sat here for 10 minutes trying to wipe it off with the wipe. So not one for me, but if I didn't have a full face of glam makeup on, it may have worked better. So it might be good for those days when you are just got like a no makeup makeup day or just, you know, real basic makeup, nothing like waterproof and nothing like full coverage or anything. Product number five is Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Acne Fighting Paper Mask. Yes to not playing, connect the dots on your face, tomato and salicylic acid control pimples and blackheads. So it is a paper mask. So I'm very excited to try this. I have been having a few breakouts lately. Um, I don't know if it's like the products that I'm trialing, um, like from the boxes or something, because I did use quite a few last week. So I think that might've played a part in it, um, but they're starting to clear up now. So this will hopefully help it. Very excited to try it. You only need to put it on for 10 minutes. Okay, so it smells really strong of like alcohol or something. So I'm a bit nervous about that. Um, I might only leave this on for five minutes just so then my sensitive skin doesn't react to it because it does smell very strong. Okay, that mask is not happening. Um, that smells like as though I am putting like acetone or something on my face. And it is way too strong for me. I am sensitive to smells, but not that sensitive. Um, that is holy moly. It made my eyes water. Um, I had it on for maybe like 10 seconds, if that. And <coughs> I had to take it off because of the smell so unfortunately not a fan of that one so i am just going to go and use a different mask yeah i can't comment on whether it works or not but that is a really strong smell and it's like burning my eyes even sitting on the desk in front of me um and it just yeah it smell it smells like nail polish remover so acetone or something um it was yeah no that is not a mask i can use and i apologize i can't use it but i cannot have that on my face when it smells like that so i do get another hello fresh discount in here as i've said in previous boxes i don't actually use hello fresh i have trialed them a few times and it's just not something that my husband and I like. So we prefer to do our own meal plans and meal prepping. So um, I don't ever use those when they do come in the box. And the last and final product is from Basic Beauty. And it is Spring Break Jelly Highlighter. So I'm very excited about this. I actually did open it already to have a look at it. So it looks like this, let me open it up, it's a twist top and then like this, 
And then, let me swatch it for you. Oh, wow, it is really soft. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, I need that all over my face. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna have to use that another day because I do have plenty of highlighter on my face today. But that is stunning. It's almost like it starts off feeling like a powder, but then it's it definitely does feel like a jelly at the same time. So that's an interesting formula. Very excited to try this one out. I might use it tomorrow for my makeup. So that is what was in this month's box. This is the August Bella box. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and change notifications to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.